All right, it is 941. I have one trade with AABB, and this was a scratch. And you can see there's a big seller here with 421,000 shares. And the price was a bit higher. It looks like a big seller at the ask that keeps lowering um, his price, and it makes the price go down. I did watch AABB. It was kind of similar to KNOS yesterday, where it had news, and the news was good. It had a morning spike, and then it started to sell off, and then it went under VWAP. This isn't really a bull flag like KNOS kind of was. This is just a dip under VWAP, and I was interested in it. I did buy 5,000 shares, a very small amount, because this thing trades with a bit of a spread, and um, not just a spread, but it just tra it seems to trade like a low float as well. Very similar to KNOS, but not as nice because the gap up wasn't as big as KNOS, and the spike wasn't really as nice, and the price action looks a bit choppier. I did get in right here, especially because there were some very big bidders that showed up. And that really um, gave me more of a reason to be long, knowing that maybe there could be support from those big bidders. I bought 5,000 shares at 939 right here at 35. And it did uptrend briefly. It just a few hits were um, right here at 36. But, you know, it didn't really uptrend all that much. And then that big 420,000 share seller showed up at the ask. And that's always something that... Is going to make me get out of the position and i got out the next minute for a good reason not just because i was you know training wrong but that big seller showed up and i got out at 352 so i barely made anything this was a scratch trade and it did break under this trend line right here and now it's a bit lower so i don't really want to do anything with it at this point um as for rivian i do have a long position here this was this this sucked but i was like if it's not going to work out is not going to work out. There's no way to know if a setup is going to work out or not. But as for my swing position, the candle now looks a lot better. The 15 minute candle. Um, I do have a position. I think my average is like um, 1649 or 1648. I had 100 shares at 1650 and 100 at 1647. And yeah, this sucked right here, but um, I didn't do anything with it because it didn't get to my stop. And I do like how the other day it sold off massively, as you can see here, with a lot of volume in. It never broke under 16, so that kind of makes me think that that's um, 1595 stop is a pretty good level. I was actually even considering a dip buy, but I didn't want to because I've tried that a few times and it just doesn't work out. This one worked out, and I'll keep holding on to the position. I want to see how it trades, whether it goes up or down before I consider selling it. Uh, I just want to see what the price action is like. It is breaking above this trend line right here. Although this thing might have moved since, I guess that might have been around the point where I was looking at it. Yeah, uh, ideally this thing can be a short squeeze and maybe it was beaten down too much and it can uptrend or maybe just a short squeeze. I think this one isn't overvalued, at least compared to Tesla. Now let's just take a look at Tesla to see what it's doing. Yeah, Tesla is a bit scary to trade because I, I don't really want to trade stuff like this. It just gaps up and down, um, you know, considerably. It's also trying to reverse, I guess, but I like the way Rivian trades a lot more. And again, I think this one. It could still be super overvalued, maybe even more than Tesla in terms of percent difference. But in terms of, um, I guess, dollar difference, it isn't that much. I want to see what it can do over a longer period of time. If it still fails, finds its way down, breaks a day low, and then gets all the way to 16 and then breaks that, that's too bad. But um, that's where I am right now. Just one trade with AABB that didn't really um, work out. This was a scratch trade, and it looks like the volume is kind of erratic not really good price action i'll make an update later all right it is i-59 and i decided to just cut the position i have on charles schwab because this is on uh margin accounts and as for margin accounts i'm not extremely sure if i could just sell this thing piece by piece i want to see if this thing can regain the trend line after it broke under it if it's really aggressive but um yeah, this thing is up, and I did sell at um, 9.59 when it did. Not just downtrend under the trend line right here because it's made a few wicks below it. 
but it also on um, top of that it's you know open and closed um, pretty much after the trend line and now it can aggressively try to regain itself above it but I decided to sell again half of my position which is the entire position here I have on Schwab because um, this thing uh, once again it's it's something I don't really know if I can sell in pieces and I don't want to like break this account because I passed the PDT or something like that so I got out of everything but I'm still in my fidelity position and I'm going to try to hold this one for a longer period of time so that if worst case happens, um, you know, it downtrends all the way to 16 and then it breaks my stop at 1595 on break even. But if this thing can continue the option over a longer period of time, that'll be nice. And I might change my mind and I might just take the profits because I sold mainly because of the fact of how aggressive it uptrend it like if you look past the you know 20 days it doesn't really do something like this this was a similar one but this was more gradual and look at the volume here it's you know taking a lot of volume for it to get to where it is I just don't really like that all too much I would have liked it if maybe it gradually uptrended over a longer period of time so basically this chart right here but maybe the reverse um, but it just kind of shot up right here. So that kind of throws me off and makes me think it's just a short squeeze that's going to sell off and then get back to where it used to be. I might actually sell everything today. I'm still considering that, but I also want to hold on to it because, again, it could reverse over a longer period of time. But if it just does it all the way it is right now, it makes me want to sell because if it just uptrends that quickly, it could also sell off that quickly. All right, it is 10, 12, and I'm out of the Rivian position on Fidelity. This thing was just really aggressive, which was why I got out of it. Um, as you can see, I was talking about in a previous recording where it broke under this uptrending trend line, and I talked about the idea that maybe it might try to regain itself if it's super aggressive back to the trend line. And this one did like um, one of the highest cases scenarios of aggression where it breaks past this uptrending trend line it downtrends but then it recatches um, not recatches it regains itself at the trend line and it not just regains itself but it also opened and closed above the trend line again and that is so aggressive when the stock does that and i had a new trend line right here and i had one right here and essentially i was going to get out um right when it looks like it's going to close below both of the trend lines and that's what ended up happening. I got out of my position at 10.12, which was right here at 17.58. Now, this thing can just downtrend a little and then continue the uptrend some more. But I already think this is super aggressive. Again, I wanted this to be a swing trade setup where I just hold on to it for a long time. But again, if it just uptrends the way it does right here, I'm going to be very interested in getting out of it. Because I'm also scared it might downtrend as quickly. Um, this stock right here is Subaru. I was just trying to compare size um, market cap. So like Rivian, their growth sales, I think, is a tenth of Subaru. But I guess Rivian is more interesting. Um, did I say Subaru? No, I meant to say if I said it wrong, Rivian is more interesting. And, you know, it has like more, I guess, speculation for an explosion, um, you know, because they do have a lot more investments, I guess, in electric cars I, I might not know what i'm talking about but i was just trying to compare uh, market caps to see if maybe even where it is right now is kind of overvalued or not so yeah this thing definitely you know really uptrended again i wanted to hold on to it for a longer period of time but again it just really 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 went up and i'm out i don't know how much i'm gonna be up um i am up 55 bucks on my schwab account but that was my sell at 1705 and on my fidelity i was long at um i think i was long at 1647 100 shares so yeah this this is a really nice profitable day and again this thing can continue the uptrend and I might still be interested in buying it at another time. But again, the way it did this was just really aggressive. 
It's not like AMC where you just hold on forever. Like, I never understood those people who did that because they can only sell if it just seems a bit too crazy and rebuy later if they really believe in it. I'm going to probably start doing other things. This one was interesting because I was watching if it was going to break the previous day high. But this one did it all ugly, so I never traded it. And this one, I did see a lot of sellers, I think, at this 480 level. I just thought it was too newbie of a setup where it just um, breaks the big sellers and then it just shoots up like crazy. It did break above it, but it didn't really do that much. That's pretty much it for right now. I don't think there's anything good in terms of, um, you know, uptrending stocks today. Maybe NSAV. No, this one looks like crap too. Uh, just doesn't have the price action or volume. I'll make an update later, if not when the market is closed. So, yeah, just that one scratch with AABB and then that trade with uh, Rivian where I was long yesterday, right before um, 8 p.m. I bought after hours and I'm pretty glad I did it. Although, I guess if I waited and was a bit more patient, I could have been in at a better price, but... Yeah, this one really worked out. I'm pretty thankful for it. And yeah, I'll make an update later. All right, it is 9.08 p.m. and I'm here to call it off. Overall, I'm going to be up on the day $167.96. And that was one scratch with AABB that didn't really work out. And then Rivian, this one that really uh, did work out. And I did do this thing right here. I don't have the data yet, but it's going to be different for... Um, day trades and swing trades and I am more interested now just because I had this one gain with um, Rivian here uh, swing trading more and essentially with this amount that I made I'm going to be able to have one more swing trade that absolutely fails and I lose a hundred bucks and then to cover um, half of another one that I try before you know I end up um, losing uh, or being red so that's that's pretty cool and that's the idea with that it did work out really nicely and everything. Maybe I could have tried a cheeky dip buy under VWAP, but um, I am considering doing stuff that is more long term. And to prove my entries and exits, I did have 100 shares at um, 1647 with Fidelity. I don't think it will show here. Yeah, it just shows my exit. But you can see my balance is what um, showed. Um, you know, between yesterday and today, the difference. And then on Schwab, which I don't really show my balance every day, uh, this does prove that I bought 100 shares at 1650 and I got out at that 1705 level, which uh, meant I made 55 bucks off of that trade with uh, Schwab. So, yeah, pretty cool that it worked out and everything. Obviously, I hope it can continue to happen. And I will still be looking at Rivian. It actually looks pretty good. Good. It looks like a inverse head and shoulder, shoulder head, shoulder. So I might perhaps even try to uptrend some more, but I'll be watching. Uh, maybe it can downtrend and be like another higher low off of here. And then I could try again. Maybe this was just, you know, um, an abnor um, abnormality, if I pronounce that right. And maybe it's just going to sell off from here on out. Maybe it'll explode with a short squeeze. There's no way to really know, but. It is worth trying when the setup um, seems to offer something, and that's what I did here, and I'm glad it worked out. That's it for today.